dominant forwards, particularly for the Western Bulldogs, a form of Bonnie too good. She has certainly hit her straps in recent weeks. Going to make it difficult for the contested marking game, particularly for the Western Bulldogs, who are the number one contested marking team in the competition. But we're all set. Huge game. Tuesday night footy from Metricon Stadium. It's the Suns and the Western Bulldogs. And straight away, they're into it. Blackburn and Fitzgerald starting on ball with Kirsty Lamb. The usual suspects for the Western Bulldogs. It's going to be a good battle in the ruck too. Between Bella and Moody. Morris Dalton, nice clean hands in the conditions. Drennan, her first possession back to Stanton. He goes straight down the middle. Ferris, well, he took the one-hander. Whitford and Grant. We talk about great contested marking. The, the ball use and the strength in the hands of two good Cranston and Morris Dalton is going to be such an asset for the dogs in the wet tonight. Here comes Robottom trying to get an early touch. Slips out the back. Bella dives on top of it. Now Lamb extracts the footy. Gives it to Pritchard. She's coughed it up. Moody now with the chance. Gives it to Blackburn. Run down by Sermon. The Bulldogs still might come up with it. Ferris driven into the turf by Perkins. Holding the ball. So the first look inside 50 for Gold Coast Suns. Sarah Perkins just unloads and kicks it right to the goal square. It's going to go all the way. The Suns have the first on the board. Well, you never leave a goal square unattended when the ball is in Sarah Perkins' hands, even outside of 50. She is one of the greatest assets in a, in a forward line of a team. She's just got such a strong, long leg. And to leave the goal square unattended, super work by uh, Groves Little there, just to shepherd the ball through. But wow, that's that's a big that's a big error there by the Western Bulldogs and Sarah Perkins. She's fantastic inside 50. Great start for the Gold Coast for Sarah Perkins. Kicked one of their only two goals last week in that demoralising loss to the Brisbane Lions, but that'll do their confidence the world are good for the Suns. They've got the first on the board early. And it's Robottom with that strength again to get the arms free to Drennan. Might sit for single, who's back into the side this afternoon, the runner. And she's going to drive it deep and long as well. It'll skid as it will with these greasy conditions here at Metricon Stadium. We'll have a throw in. Sort of get the feeling that maybe the Gold Coast is starting the way the Dogs did against Adelaide just a couple of games ago. Just really quick out of the centre. Dogs not maybe respecting their opponent, playing a little bit off them, let it, not sticking their tackles early. Well, they were completely shell-shocked by the Brisbane Lions on Thursday, the Gold Coast. are out of their depth right from the start. So a much more positive start to this game as Moody's kick goes straight down the middle and in the right spot was Cranston. So the Dogs will get their first look at it going forward. Hartwick has moved forward in recent weeks. Nathan Burke saying she's almost as good a contested mark as Izzy Huntington, which is a pretty big rap, although that's not her best kick. An intercept mark taken by Ahrens. This is probably one element of a game that she's still working on hard week, but just her, her work rate's enormous, as is her marking ability. Oh, Ahrens straight up the middle, over the back, Groves Little. Although the umpires paid the player in front, and Eleanor Brown will have the footy. Centre of Metricon Stadium. Straight down the corridor. Ball spills over the back. Only back there is Heslop. And the Suns run away with it. Stanton. Kicks into the middle looking for Perkins. Coming across Grant. Did well. It's a little short pass to half forward. Coming out Hartwig. Now to Blackburn. Met heavily in the contest. The Suns clear it. Yeah, close to the boundary line. Grant will be first there to pick it up. The umpires found a free kick off the ball, going the way of the Western Bulldogs. Grant will take it. Might have been for abuse to the umpire, just looking off the screen. Well, we're not sure about that, but the uh, dogs get the free kick. It's going to go to Ali Blackburn, who's called to play on. Doesn't like what she sees inside 50, so tried to go short, but it was well done by the Suns to pick it off and they'll drive it towards half forward. The Western Bulldogs have got that extra number behind the ball and guessed. There's another example of just a lack of awareness from the Bulldogs at the moment. So they've had a couple of rundown chase from behind tackles against them. That's that turnover. Row bottom. So good in the contest. Got it to Howarth. Bohanna. 
couldn't quite take it on the third bite, but cleverly just kicks it to grass because this is where it'll be dangerous, particularly for the Suns' front half. They're normally so good, and unfortunately, Groves Little gave away the free kick. What a bad option you feel tonight with the greasy conditions. Just kick it to grass, put the defenders under pressure. A bit of high contact. Now the dogs will reload from centre half back. Again, they go straight down the corridor. Cranston gets it off Fitzgerald. Pokes it, looking for Too Good. It's Ahrens who's got that big matchup tonight on the inform Bonnie Too Good. Bella, nice pick up. Bohanna straight through her hands, and Georgia Stathis will mop up and give it to Lynch. Lynch. Short. Blackburn couldn't complete the mark. Now still fight for it at ground level. Has Hunt in support. Fires out a handball backwards to Lynch. Almost tackle without it. Giorgio Stathis. Fitzgerald. Edmonds. Gone. So Growbottom started this match in good form. Nice pick up. On the half vol volley by Yorston, a kick in intercepted. Fitzgerald just whacks it on the boot, wobbles one to half forward. Suns should get their first through Ahrens. Just gets the hands away, but too good has something to say about that. Just gets boot to ball, dribbles it into the pocket. Keeney coming through. Hartwig's also there for the dogs. Pritchard over the top, laying a tackle. The umpire says, I'll have it. Aaron's running hot. Four touches for her. Row bottom as well. Four touches, both leading disposal winners for the Gold Coast Suns. Started well, the Suns. Their pressure's up. Ten tackles to four early. You can see they've certainly got the intensity early in this game. Can the Western Bulldogs match them and find something? Aaron's happy just to kick it off the ground, get a little bit of territory. Georgia Stathis, who we spoke about, was so good the other night against Geelong. As Lynch does well to... Had a little long and keep it in bounds, so she didn't give away the free kick, but the Suns have got numbers there. Drennan, clever, got boot the ball, but only as far as Lynch again, who instead of just trying to get it long, she tried to find a play. It was a clever kick, and they'll get the free kick through Pritchard. So a nice build-up here for the Dogs. Really good vision there from Lynch. Just turned, squared, looked up, lowered the eyes, found a tall target, great positioning. Isabella Pritchard told the umpire she's going to have a shot. It's going to take a fair kick from... Outside 50. She's sitting up like she's confident. But she's happy just to pop it to the top of the square. Where are the flyers? Too good. Who's averaging over one of those one and a half contested marks a game. Couldn't bring it in on that occasion. And I'll get a stoppage 15 metres out. It's a good sign to the Western Bulldogs after that, that first goal from the Suns. Just repeated inside 50 entries. Oh, Morris Dalton at the back. Had a chance. Keeney. Kick it out of the danger zone. Oh, it slips through Brown. Groves Little is in there as well. Lamb has a fumble, then regathers. Hembles out to Hunt. Has Blackburn in support. Short kick inside 50. Is chopped off by Wallace Randall, who comes back into the side this week. Kick looking for a bottom standing in front. Lamb. She can send it back inside 50 for the dogs. See, it's a crowded forward 50. So we'll just kick it to numbers. Well, at the front, too good. And now Whitford for the Suns. Goes in the Bahana direction, spills over the back, guest. It's in further back to Elise Gamble. Now Brown. Couldn't gather it. Yorston goes in. Out to Robot. I'm almost caught one high. Umpire says play on. Brown, nice handball to space. Oh, Blackburn. She's tackled by single. It's a hot footy here at Metricon Stadium. It's done on the bottom of that pack. And now Dupe just gets a rush kick down the line. Doesn't stay in. Free kick Bulldogs. Kelly Blackburn came up from that tackle then. Just a little bit ginger on the ankle. Sort of held it there. Whether she just got the stops down the back or just a little tweak. We'll keep an eye on that one. So tricky conditions. Bit of a shower before the game. You know it's humid and slippery at Metricon. So who can be clean? Who can be strong in the contest? Give themselves a chance. That's a nice kick and finds Hunt. 
Happy to be patient in this first quarter, the Dogs, trying to find some uncontested marks. But this time they'll go long inside 50, Ahrens. Saad got it out to Bohanna, who finds herself in the back half of the ground. And the kick finds Eleanor Brown, who's having a, a wonderful season, it must be said, over five and a half intercept disposals a game. And nice kick finds LaJoya. Back into the side, has Lynch with a bit of time and space. Just dropped the chest mark, but's able to get on her left boot. Pops it to a dangerous spot, Hartwick. Couldn't take the mark. Well done by the Suns, although they're gonna cough it up. Too good, Edmonds. Scrapping hard here, Gold Coast. Morris Dalton throws it on the boot. And as far as Hannah Dunn, and the Dogs get their first score of the night. Well, inside 50 is nine to three in favour of the Western Bulldogs. So all the run of the play so far outside of that first 30 seconds just going the way the Western Bulldogs at the moment. Dunn kicks long. It's off hands, Whitford. Just gets boot to ball. It's a high kick. Sermon back with the flight. Spills to Drennan. Has Stanton running on the inside. That kick, there's no one ahead of her. Izzy Grant can take the intercepting mark. Has guessed on the outside. Kicks to her. Long down the line. Oh, Dankett went without it. Edmonds handballs into the path of Lamb. Who just gets away from Drennan. Wobbles a kick inside 50. Viv Sard's there to mop it up. Clear it, but only momentarily. Oh, Bennett's had a bit of a fumble, allowed Yorston to come in. Now Grant sandwiched between a couple of sons. This should be a ball up. Well, the Dogs have certainly got the game on their terms. They're set up well behind the ball. They're playing it in their front half, but Gold Coast defending well at the moment. Can't break this game open, but if they continue to press like they are here, the Dogs, they'll score eventually. Moody's kick's a good one. A one-on-one. -on -one. Morris Dalton's given away the free kick. Don't mind that though, even though she's given away a free kick. You don't mind the fact that a forward's putting that level of pressure on. This is where they've struggled in this first term, the Suns, to get past his halfway, or oh, that'll help. Lucy's single. What a mark. That was a cracking mark. A pack of three. The first game since round four it started well. Can they find another one? Bohanna's in there. Brown, another intercept possession. And they guess kick only as far as single again. So now an opportunity for Gold Coast to get a bit of field position. That's a beautiful kicking board. Finds Dankett, another one who's into the side tonight. She's happy to go towards Perkins, although Moody, like a good ruck, sat in the hole. Thought she had the mark, not paid, and now there's a loose ball. Whitford, we know she's got some wheels. So is Bennett's Whitford did really well. Clean pickup, snap around the body, and just couldn't finish her good work. Started really well too, including Whitford. Fifth disposal for her, and just missed. Well, good work right there from Gold Coast. Kept their feet, had the numbers running down deep inside 51. They had possession. Just saw a replay of that single mark. It's a beauty. Blackburn. It's had another good start this week. Disposal number seven coming up for Blackburn. As you can see, the rain coming down at Metricon Stadium. So Hartwig, Ferris, and now Blackburn again. Kick it long down the line. Ahrens will get there first for the Suns. Kick comes into the middle of the ground. Bounces over Gamble, and it allows the Suns to kick it to half forward. And Perkins has got a bit of space. Against Lynch, tries to get around. Oh, she's still a chin. No, she's di dispossessed. Incorrect disposal. I'd like to have a, another look at that one. I think Sarah Perkins would like to have yeah. a look at that one. But geez, it was millimetres, wasn't it? She almost oh, was out of it. Oh. And just at the last minute. Almost. She knew she couldn't kick it because the dogs had a play at the top of the square. Although they're going to make a meal of this. Just filling around with it. She might get a chance now, Perkins. And another golden opportunity gone begging. Well, when Sarah Perkins gets her hands on the footy nice and early, she gets a goal in the opening 30 seconds. She has a number of touches. You know it's going to be a good night for Perko. Ashley Guest hemmed in the back pocket. And the Gold Coast press and try and get one more on the board. 
Whitford, who had that shot earlier. Perkins has been dangerous. Both her and Grant did well. They went with the correct technique. We'll get a, another ball up. Well, for all the inside 50s, 11 to 6 in favour of the Western Bulldogs. Still just the one behind and Gold Coast. You'd think they were the ones dominating, but it's not been the case. Fitzgerald clears it. It's ricochets off Morris Dalton. Goes in the fifth side. Out to Robottom. Just gets boot to ball. Oh, Moody stripped of it. Coming through Blackburn. Packs it out of the danger zone. Bella's there for the Sun. So is too good. Doing the work at ground level. It's tackled. LaJoya almost brought to ground without it. It goes the way of the Suns. Whitford. Her handball's intercepted. Intercepted Blackburn. Giorgio Stathis and Bennett's around the corner. Oh, slip through the fingers of Sermon. Out the back is too good. Just kicks for territory. It's Pritchard against Daisy Darcy. Darcy does well. It's Hartwig, in fact. Kept alive in the contest, and Saar dribbles a kick down the line. It's going to come back. LaJoya. Oh, her kick off the side of the boot, out of bounds on the full. I love the work there of Hartwig then. Just, just the benefit of having a defender in the forward half of the ground. Just her work rate. She, she, she put the first tackle in, lost her feet, got back up, put the second pressure act on. Fantastic young player. So that'll see us out. Quarter time at Metricon. Breezy, slippery conditions, but there's plenty to play for for these two sides. Both sitting just outside the top six. But a game on our hands Tuesday night. Contest so far, Gold Coast, you're in the goal of the game through Sarah Perkins in the opening 90 seconds of the match. And what can the Western Bulldogs produce in this second quarter? Bella wins the tap. Looking for Stanton, wrapped up by Cranston, who's moved into the middle for the Dogs. Speaking of players who've had good seasons, Lauren Bella in the ruck. Fantastic for the Suns. Number one in hitouts and hitouts to advantage. Having a super season. Lamb's going nowhere. Sons have won more clearances than any team, and no doubt that's come out of Bella's ruck work. So, Yorston with the clearing kick up towards half forward. Oh, smart by Sermon to tap it into the path of Howard, but she went without it. Now the dogs come up with it through Grant. Pritchard, it's the hands free back to Grant. Has to get around Sermon. Now Ferris. Kicks into the corridor. It's a good-looking kick. Great kick to find Moody. Lovely kick of the footy, Ferris. Beautiful, beautiful user. So first opportunity of this second quarter goes the way of the Bulldogs. Hickey said at quarter time she wanted them to be better in the contest in their forward 50, and they've been able to do that, although the pressure from the Suns is good. And they, the throw I was paid a high tackle, in fact, to Georgia Staffers. Looks like Ellie Blackburn might be floating forward. Looked like she started this quarter forward, yeah, and gave Cranston the chance to start in the centre bounce, maybe just give that ankle a little bit of time to warm up again after the quarter time break. Maybe for the Suns defensive coach, you might not be happy with that outcome. Having to defend too good, Morris Dalton, Cranston and Blackburn, all four really strong contested ball winners. Yeah, Ali Blackburn's gone to the goal square. So that is a danger for the Gold Coast Suns. So you see Bella's season there. Lamb. A strong tackle. Clearances are a bit of an issue for the Western Bulldogs. They, despite beating Geelong Friday night, they lost the clearances by seven, even though they were dominant in the hitout. So it's going to be a challenge because we know the Suns, as you just said, Shy, are a very good clearance team. But they win this one, the Dogs. And here's Cranston, who started the term on ball. And here's Blackburn, who started in the goal square. It's a one-on-one -on -one against Dunn. Got to be careful. Coming through. Good neck with the goal. Just the presence of Blackburn at the top of the square, brought it to ground, and coming through is Brittany Gutnick, and the dogs get there first. And just the smart move there. Blackburn, of course, we know she's got that tweaked ankle today. So how do you get service out of her? How do you make her dangerous? You pop her in the golf square one-on-one -on -one and try and just isolate that contest, put all the pressure in there, and allow the runners to come through, and it's exactly what the dogs did just then. Blackburn is so dangerous anywhere you put it. Even with a tweaked ankle. So the dogs are on the board. As we mentioned, these two sides trying to keep their season alive. 
A win here will keep them in touch with the top six as we turn for home in the regular season. Dogs have got Cranston in the middle. Here is Cranston laying a tackle. Fitzgerald. Edmonds. Bennett. Drives the dogs to half forward. Coming out too good. Just couldn't complete the mark. Keeney slams it on the boot. Coming out Howarth. As Stanton in support goes to her. Kicks in the Bahana direction, out of position. Did well to bring it to ground. Ferris is there for the dogs, though. Handballs to Lynch. That's a well way to kick to Fitzgerald. Wonderful stuff. It was an opportunity for, for Fitzgerald to play more of a leadership role in the middle with Blackburn out of there. Kicks to LaJoya. Read that one well. And here comes the dogs inside attack. Oh, chopping it off nicely is Dankin. Nice build up though by the Bulldogs. Looks like it's dried out a little bit for the time being, and that's just suiting the Western Bulldogs' uncontested game. It's 20 marks to seven. So, can the Gold Coast just control a little bit of ball for the time being? Although, it's now in a contest again. Well done, Yorston. Coming through, Lamb just got her high. Dogs think it might have been a duck, but just clipped her in that attempt to tackle. So Jackie Austin, who came back into the side and started red hot form with 16 disposals after missing 12 months, been a bit down in recent weeks. And Elise Edmonds growing in stature and growing in confidence by the week. Down the line. Morris Dalton's there with Saad. Grants has had an impact since going into the centre bounce in this second term. Grants. Nice handball to Ferris, who's normally a good user. Can she find a mark inside 50? She pops it to the advantage of two good. Oh, well done, Ahrens. That was a crucial one-on-one -on -one win. And then just clears the area momentarily. And now Grant, Edmonds, and here's Lamb. Jess Webster spoke about her beautiful disposal efficiency in this game. It was a great kick for two good. Who's slow to get to her feet. Might have hurt her shoulder going for that mark. They'll still keep the ball in their front half here, the Western Bulldogs. Blackburn. Saw Morris Dalton again, just couldn't quite take the mark, but they're pressing here. Kick will go to the top of the square. Might bounce over everyone's head. It does. Touch, the umpire said. Really positive start to the second quarter by the Dogs. I'm really loving how they're transitioning the ball inside 50. They're looking for each other. They look really structured up in front of them. We know that they've had to move their forward structure around a bit with Blackburn in. But I love how they're entering 50, and, it's, and they've dropped a few marks, but it will pay off if they keep doing this. So Heslop, a low ball. Spills at the feet of Edmonds. Spills out the back, and Yorston can give it to Drennan. It's not a, not a very great kick. Over the head of Bahana and Gamble. Marks. Short 45 to Fitzgerald. This has Ferris in support, wrapped up by Groves Little. And holding the ball. So Groves Little wants to play on quickly. They run to 50. Eyes the goals. Doesn't have the accuracy through for a minor score. Love the intent, though. Take the game on. It's a really good tackle. Didn't get high. And Groves Little. Quick to take the advantage. Unfortunately, just missed it. So, Gold Coast now with a bit of ball in their front half. Cranston having a really nice quarter. Eleanor Brown's having a really nice game. Big ball to be won. That was well done by the Joya. Just did enough to get out the Georgia Stathis, but the Suns are set up well behind the footy. Best Keeney. Again, they want to get it moving quickly. Grows little. Terrific crumb. Got the handball to Yorston, but had nowhere to go. Brown with a strong tackle. Just get the feeling with Groves Little, just lively around the vicinity. Something's going to happen. Quite first quarter, but starting to get busy in this one. Howarth, the kick gets to Bahana. Can she just get boot to ball? She couldn't, but Howarth might. It deflects it. No, it should be a goal anyway, because it deflected off Bahana's foot. So we'll let the umpires confer, but I think you'll find this is a goal. It'll be a good team goal, that one. <laughs> She knew she made a mistake, the goal umpire corrected herself. 
The question's going to be who does the goal go to? Because it was Howard's kick. It deflected off the foot of Bohanna. And they can rock, paper, scissors to see who claims it. It's going to go the way of Bohanna. She did have last touch. If we watch it here, we see the kick deflected off Bohanna's foot. That's a team goal. I think they get two score assists each there. It's been marked to Bohanna, so she does get the goal. And we can see there, nice for her, gets her back into the top five in the goal kicking because it had been a little lean run for her, just one goal in the last three matches after starting her AFLW career in terrific form, but that's a good goal for the Suns. Yeah, absolutely. And what I really liked is just the numbers and the way in which they worked for each other to create that opportunity. Yeah, it was a bit of a... It was a fun goal to kick and a great team effort, but it was the numbers around the contest that I was happy with. Robot on held without it. Yeah. Kicks into Giorgio Stathis on the mark. Coming through Randall. Stripped of it. Now over the top is Jupe. Suns by a seven here, halfway through the second. It's Dankert is brought to ground. Chippe bustles her way through and then kicks the Suns into attack again. It's going to go over the head. Out the back is Bohanna again. Gets on the left. Brilliant snap from the pocket. Bohanna has two. Well, do we need to be reminded that Bohanna was a replacement player? Should have been on an AFLW list. Has been an outstanding performer in the VFLW down in Victoria. Got her opportunity. Look at Jupay there coming out of the centre. Just burst through, strong through the hips. Nice long leg. Jupay, uh, sorry, uh, Bohanna just working her way onto the football with pace and determination. And then just steadying herself. I love the composure there to just position herself. Knew she didn't have enough time to square her hips up. And she got there first. You get there first, you kick the goals. It's a quick, amazing how quickly your fortunes can turn in football. We just spoke about Bohanna's last few weeks. It's been really quiet, been tough going, and then gets a little favourable deflection for a goal, and all of a sudden, she's got two in a minute and full of confidence. And more importantly, the Suns get out to a handy 13-point lead late in this second term. They hung on well in that opening stanza in the second quarter when the Bulldogs were pressing. And they've been able to respond as they've done a number of times this year this young group speak about the young group they've got eight players playing tonight 21 years of age or under but amazingly the western bulldog show they've got nine players 21 or under so a lot of youth on display in this game tonight and it's a pretty high quality game considering the conditions although yorston a bit unlucky to be paid for a throw there you think about these two young sides, Lee, as well. They're positioned seventh and eighth at the moment. They're knocking on the door of the sixth. This is what the future of the competition is going to start to look like. Umpires found a push. Going the way of Morris Dalton. Kicks long inside 50. Suns with numbers at the front. Keeney at the back. Clears the footy. It's going to be mopped up by Giorgio Stathis. Wants to switch the play, goes inboard to Edmonds. Just drives it deep inside 50 or oh, out the back. Rowbottom spills to her. Just throws it on the boot. Perkins brought it to ground. Grows a little overran it. Brown. And has got a free kick. Just got slung to the ground. Kick out wide to Lynch. Just pops it into the path of Bennett's. So another patient build up here by the Dogs. It's a crowded forward 50. Bennett's goes low. Taking the nice mark as Ahrens. Quite game foul Bennett's. Just a second kick. He's coming back from a calf injury a few weeks ago. That's a nice kick to Rowe Bottom, who just dropped the mark but had time to pick it up again and tries to attack the corridor, but the Dogs have set up well behind the ball most of this game, as we've actually guessed. They work the ball forward really nicely from here, but it's that kick inside 50 that sort of hits that 30-metre mark that they struggle with. Georgia Stathis goes again straight down the middle. Hartwig and Lamb in the forward line. 
It's a better result for the dogs. It stayed in. Now they've got to stop each. Can they create something from the chaos? Celine Moody will go behind the contest. Morris Dalton will do the ruck work. Can they get someone on the move? Another clearance win to the Gold Coast, and it's Whitford who drives it down the middle. Bell is having a rest forward for the Suns. Kicks to grass. Now it's a foot race. Guest has got a 10-metre head start, so she's got plenty of time to go back and pick the ball up. And it was, in fact, Bella who was the one to get there first. Well done, Groves Little. Affected the spoil. Puts Lynch under pressure. And we'll get a stoppage. We'll quickly go down to Bella on the boundary line. What's an update down there, Bella? Yes, some great energy from the Suns there. And they've also got some great support here at Metricon Stadium as well. We've got the men's Gold Coast Suns team here, a large chunk of them supporting this evening. I'm told at trading today they made the decision to come out and surprise the group. They even did a guard of honour for the girls before the game. So great to see that one club approach for such a crucial game for the Suns here tonight. Yeah, it is great to see all the boys there. And I'm sure they're enjoying this contest because the Suns are up for the fight. So is Lauren Ahrens. She's had an excellent game. Against Too Good has won a couple of important one on ones. Just got to be careful not to give away the free kick. And as I say that, Wallace Randall did. It is going to go to Bonnie Too Good. Just the fifth disposal tonight for Too Good. As we said, it's been tough going for the forwards. Had a wonderful few weeks for, for the season, averaging the four and a half marks, nearly 13 disposals. Has seven goals, eight on the season. This is an important kick late in the first half. Can she get the journey? She can't. Rowbottom has to be careful. So again, it's the dogs with the more inside 50s, but it's the Suns that have been more efficient. Pritchard. Did well to get the hands free to Grant. He blazes away. Sneaks that one through for a behind. Talk about the work of Charlie Rowbottom in the back half of the ground for the Suns. She had nine disposals today, but seven of those have been in the back half of the ground. So her defensive work behind the football has been really critical for the Suns' efforts tonight to just rebound those inside 50s because it's been a bit of an onslaught for them. 22 to 13 in favour of the Western Bulldogs, yet the Suns lead by a couple of goals. And it's been the clearances. As we spoke about, the Suns leading by five. That's the big advantage at the moment for them. So done with the kick out. She's run further up the ground to get it back again. She's forward looking for Randall. Fumbled but regathered. Slipped through the hands of Keeney. Now opens the door for the Dogs. It's Giorgio Stathis to Lamb. Grant, LaJoya, Lamb goes in again. Brilliant tackle by Dunn. LaJoya looks a little bit sore off the ball. She's back up and she'll be okay. It's into the last 90 seconds of this first half. Can the dogs sneak in a late one? Umpire's found a free kick going the way of the Suns, just for a push out in the rut contest. It's going the way of Jupay. Cranston not used to taking the rock duties. Hey, kicks out wide. Bella against Gamble. Bella goes in hard. And it's given away the free kick for being le for being legged or legging Four. Gamble. Yeah, but stiff there. Gee, They're unlucky. Both, yeah, Four. in fact thought it might have been in the back. Well, an opportunity goes the way of the dogs. Can they make the most of it? They kick to the true centre half forward. Pritchard. A couple of nice moments. Dunn almost shoveled that back to Saad. Good pressure from Cranston. Opportunity here for the dogs if Fitzgerald can be clean. Instead, she goes off the ground. And they do make the most of the opportunity. Fitzgerald gets her first of the season. And it came at a crucial time. They needed that, the dogs. They get the margin back to six points. But you don't have to touch the football much, but when you do touch it, the decisions that you make, the way in which it impacts how the game is played, we see a, there's a little moment here with LaJoya. She knew she couldn't take great possession, get back to her feet, but she shoveled the ball out into the space. Fitzgerald, she could have picked it up, read that she was probably going to get tackled, kept her feet instead and just po toe poked the ball through for a goal. Just smart work. That's the thing about this young team of dogs. They're elite with their balls and with their decision-making and their execution. 
really, really good work there from LaJoya and Fitzgerald in that combination. So the dogs with the late one in this second term brings the margin back to six points. Still time for a goal either way. If one of these sides can get a quick clearance. Bella with the tap. And there's Dankit. She's stripped of it. Row bottom. It's the handball out. Goes back in again. Row bottom out the back. Clears it. We... Sermon. Nice gather to Whitford. They need a mark. Oh, Siren just beats the Gold Coast Suns. Or is the umpire going to pay it? Dupe is marked, and I think the umpire has said it happened before the siren blew. So Dupe is going to line up for a shot after the siren. Looked like there was a bit of confusion there with the umpires. I think one umpire looked at the other, and no one quite committed to the decision. So it's going to stand. Which is a lovely shot for goal. Nice long leg. So Jackie Dupe, the 27-year-old in her debut AFLW season, that one. Doesn't have the journey. Out of bounds on the full. That would have been a slightly controversial finish to the half. Absolutely. So an entertaining first half here at Metricon Stadium. Gold Coast Suns. They're minus nine in inside 50s in this game, the Gold Coast. But they lead by six points. Who can you see winning from here? Shiloh, who's your tip? Well, good to see Blackburn back on the field. That's going to play an important role in the outcome. So these two sides looking to stay in touch with the top six, and it's the Dogs through Moody. Gets the first clearance. It's fisted away by Lamb. Coming through Fitzgerald. Hands it off to Hunt. Kicks deep inside 50 out the back. Fifth side, or she's dropped it. Hartwick is there to apply the pressure. Blackburn in support. Hartwick at ground level is wrapped up. Got a stoppage 10 metres from the Dogs' goal. Saw there, they're just the smarts there of Fitzgerald coming out the clearance there. Just a little give. Really smart disposal. GK, nice tap to Ara. She's coughed it up though. Too good from close range. Misses. A nice contest to be a part of as a defender. Stoppage five metres out from the dog's goal. And you got too good. Blackburn, Hartwig, you're lurking. Viv Saad in her first season coming across from the Kangaroos has held down that fullback spot. Of course, no Jade Prajali. He's normally a wonderful defender. You can see the clearances there. It's going to play a big factor in this second half. Cranston gone on ball. Blackburn spending more time forward. Stanton not going to go anywhere. Nine disposals. Jamie Stanton in the first half. Charlie Robottom with the most for the Suns with 11. Ali Blackburn with the 12. And there is Robottom again, always gets those arms free and is able to always find a way to get that handball out. Well, they're still under pressure here, Gold Coast. Fitzgerald, I thought, did well to roll with uh, single. Now, I said no, it was in the back. But Lucy single. Started the game in really good form, was a bit quieter in that second term, and that's a dangerous kick. It's going to open the door for the dogs. It's clean by. Hardwick then just got to the footy first, head over it, made sure she got the ball in her hands, was prepared to ride the contact. So the dogs are pressing here. Single. Kick along the ground. Ferris tackled by Sermon. Get the feeling we might see a few more stoppages this quarter. Branson coming through, stripped of it by Drennan. Now goes in and just kicks it off the deck. Puts it into the path of Sermon, who also goes off the deck. Kick inside 50. Perkins out the back, but did well to chase down Lynch, who got there first. And Perkins is going to line up for her second. Well, Perkins knew that Lynch was going to want to turn onto her left foot. It's probably the mistake that Lynch made then. She just a quick hip adjustment. Perkins had her. Lynch probably just should have just tried to go on the right, but Perkins so, so smart. Training drill this one for Perkins. Off the boundary, one step. 
been pretty bad with commentators' curses this season, Shiloh. So we'll have to see what Perkins can conjure up here. Across the face, just faded late. Blame Shiloh Curtis for that one. <laughs> one of my favourite things to have done, just watch Sarah Perkins just nail goal after goal. Oh, great smother from Stanton. They lock the ball inside forward 50 here, the Suns. But Hannah did well enough to give away a free kick. Sarah Perkins, 24 goals in AFLW. Such a beautiful kick for goal. Just couldn't quite capitalise on that occasion, but they're still coming here, the Suns, and they're going to get a free kick. It's going to go the way of Sermon. High tackle against Fitzgerald. A few errors creeping into the Western Bulldogs game here, just maybe some perceived pressure. Always interesting to see what the player chooses to do from this angle. You've got the left foot snap, you've got the drop punt, or the check side, or you can just be unselfish and try and find a better option. It was a good kick for Howarth. Just let it slip through the fingers. See that shoulder heavily, heavily strapped up. Clint Howarth missed the game with that injury, but back out there tonight. And such a dangerous player, particularly at these forward 50 stoppages. Drennan. Tried to break through the tackle, row bottom. Kick partially smothered, so not 15. Stanton with another strong tackle. Her fourth of the afternoon. So Perkins during the ruck work against Moody. Row bottom a little kick along the ground. Lynch slips it over the top to Fitzgerald. Coming in, Giorgio Stathis just gets boot to ball. Bella standing in front position, got a free kick for high. Yeah, good pressure from the Suns on the release kick there. Cause a the turnover. Kicks it long to a pack inside 50. Falls to ground, coming through Drennan. Tackled by Lamb. So a stoppage inside 50 for the Gold Coast Suns. Moody with the tab, coming through single. Has a couple of fumbles. Ball still pretty slippery out there after some earlier rain. Too good. Clean to Blackburn. Puts it into the path of Morris Dalton. Randall's chasing her. Morris Dalton gets there first. Kick around the corner to an open forward 50. It's got a pitch towards the goal square. Back there is Keeney to save the day for the Gold Coast Suns. Kicks that wide to Dankert. Just gets around Hunt and hits Drennan on the short pass. Opportunity here, Gold Coast. They've got a bit of overlap run. Can they make the Bulldogs pay? Bohanna will kick those two goals in the second term. Looks up, but the Western Bulldogs are able to get numbers back behind the ball. They've done it well, so has to go short to Howarth. Row bottom. Nice build up here from Gold Coast. Can they find the all important mark inside 50? Where's Perkins? Oh, they're going to get a 50-metre penalty. The player on the mark crept over the mark before a play-on was called. It was Georgia Stathis, I think. And this is going to give Charlie Rowbottom the opportunity to kick her first goal in AFLW. She's done most things this year, but he's yet to kick a goal. And the rising star favourite, who's had 15 disposals in this game, a couple of clearances, should be elementary. Her first goal in AFLW. And her teammates are more excited than she is. Well, it's probably an indication of how she goes about her footy. She gets in, gets the job done. Her 15th disposal has, has resulted in her first goal in AFLW, and she's a leading possession winner on the ground for the Gold Coast Suns by five disposals. And she's just in everything today. I love the fact that most of her possessions today have been in the back half of the ground. She's prepared to do the hard work, play that defensive midfield role, and ensure that the ball moves forward. But on this occasion, she made sure the ball went through the goals. I'm, I'm super happy, super happy to see her have an impact because she has. She's quite a selfless player in the way in which she plays. So. 
good to see her get some forward reward for her efforts. Pick number one in last year's AFLW draft. Really decorated junior. All Australian and AFLW Academy member. Gets her first goal in AFLW footy. What is an important game for the Gold Coast Suns. It's Drennan with the second effort. She caught one high. Hallie Blackburn back on the bench. Not sure if it's a rotation or injury at this point. To get Bella to keep an eye on that. So the Suns to half forward. Dogs with the numbers. Lamb at the front of the pack. Ran into row bottom and just caught one high. Kirsty Lamb with a chip into the corridor, but it's picked off by Dankett, and the Suns can go again here. Gives it off to Ahrens, back to Dankett, ran out of room. Daisy Darcy goes in. Oh, Rowbottom's alone at centre half forward and has players in space inside 50. Dropping the mark late as Dupay. Still a chance though. Yorston fires it out to Groves Little. The dribble along the ground. Oh, stop it, Tori Groves Little. That is ridiculous. Well, those repeated inside 50 entries from the Suns, you, you just pummel defenders and eventually something's going to give. And you see there the work rate from the players inside. Tory Groves Little just too, too creative to leave out on their own outside of the congestion. Used the footy really well, knew they had some space, popped it on the outside of the boots and I reckon that one's a training drill as well. That one. Not sure what the celebration was, but... Groves Little gets their first of the afternoon. As we see Ali Blackburn on the bench there. Captain and coach having a conversation. And they need to come up with something, Shiloh, because the Gold Coast Suns, they've dominated this third quarter. They look well and truly in control. Absolutely. Ali Blackburn, the 13 disposals. Nine of those in the first quarter. She averages 18 or so this, this season. So not sure where they're going to replace those touches from if Blackburn stays on the bench. Yeah, she certainly looks proppy. We can see her come to the bench. She's got an ankle injury. So they're going to need a few others to lift in that midfield. Can Fitzgerald be one? Maybe Georgia Stathis, who had her best game last week. Two goods up high. Morris Dalton's a bit deeper, but Gold Coast pressure's been relentless from the start. Single. Kicks a high ball. Almost brings more rain to Metricon. Yorston. And he knows one way. Interesting there, Elle Bennett. The ball was intended for her, but she overran it and went to defend a player rather than let the ball go through. She's only had the three touches tonight, so really quiet one for her tonight. Fitzgerald can't break the Austin tackle. She's pink holding the ball. And there's a lot of sore bodies for the Western Bulldogs. As we said, they only played on Friday night. Backing up again. And they're getting some punishment dished out by this... Young and hungry Gold Coast Suns. And they go deep to Jupe, who's looked likely a few times. She dropped one earlier. She had a shot just on half time. And now she gets a golden opportunity straight in front, 20 out. Well, there's an interesting free kick there. She just, I mean, she still, she presents at the contest. She makes it, you know, she makes her presence felt, really demands the defenders. And then creates errors just through turning up the contest, and that's exactly what she did then. Had the six centimetre height advantage on Grant. As we said, had that controversial shot after the halftime siren. Couldn't capitalise on that occasion, but she does this time. And the Suns are now getting out to a very handy 24-point lead. And again, it's those repeated inside 50s. That inside 50 came through Bahana there. But, um, Dupay just getting in the right position. N knew she had the, the, the mismatch in player and was able to have one grab at it to force the error from her opponent in Grant and just cap capitalised on it by scoring the next goal. So three goals in the past five minutes for Gold Coast Suns. And the warning signs are now there for the Western Bulldogs. They trail by 24 points as we... Head into the last five minutes of the third term. See Ali Blackburn there back on screen. In Western Bulldogs have not have had, uh, have had only the three inside 50s this quarter. Not taken a mark this quarter, the Western Bulldogs. And they win it out of the middle. Oh, dropping it was good neck. Lays a strong tackle. 
And they've rolled the dice there. They've put Ali Blackburn back in the midfield. Even though she's a bit proppy, she's going to have to try and lift. Whitford to single. Oh, has a fumble. Allow Pritchard to come in. And now Lamb. Standing under at Dupay. Ricochets to Dunn. Clears the danger zone. Dank it. Oh, she's wrapped up by Pritchard. Just got the kick away. Keeney. Kick around the corner. Howarth in front position. At the back doing well as guest. Ferris to Giorgio Stathis. Handles it on to Pritchard. Kick to half forward. Ahrens is stripped of it. LaJoya dives on it, spills out the back to Dunn. The Suns just clear it again. Rowbottom, second effort was good. To dank it, kick down the line. Grant, Sermon, wheels around. Has Bohana in space. Kick it around the corner. This kick should favour the Dogs, but it gets out the back of Lynch and opens up the door for Whitford. She's brought to ground. Now the Dogs should win out. Lynch, Giorgio Stathis under pressure with the kick down the line. Out the back is done. Can send it back to where it came from. In front, Giorgio Stathis. Again, good build up there by the Gold Coast Suns. Bahana's kick into the 50, perfectly weighted in the right position. Kick goes long down the line. Morris Dalton with the tackle. They just look like they're lacking a bit of energy, aren't they, the Western Bulldogs? It's, it'll be six games in 25 days for the Western Bulldogs. It's been a big period especially the win against Adelaide, three on the trot. They just look flat tonight. Travel, and those 25 days come after 20 days of no football yeah. and COVID effect. It makes it very difficult. And it's the Gold Coast Suns who seem to be the fresher team. They have plenty of run left in them. So can they just dig deep here, the Western Bulldogs? Can they find something within them? There's heavy legs, they look tired. They're going to have to try and generate at least four goals to get back into this game. Hunt. She find a mark inside 50. Goes straight down the middle. LaJoya tried to work done under the footy. Well done, Hannah Dunn. Stood her ground, kept her feet and gets rewarded with a free kick. Goes wide to Stanton. He uses all their experience. You can see there the free kick count in this third quarter. That does sometimes come down to a bit of fatigue too. You give away sloppy free kicks when you're fatigued. Eight to one in favour of the Suns. Blackburn playing sore. Just throws it on the boot. Cranston's now gone forward. Lamb was looking for the free kick. Saad has enough time and space to pick it up, look up and go towards Charlie Rowbottom, who's been the best player on the ground. She's dominating this contest. Disposal number 18 coming up for her. As you can see at the back of the screen there, Kirsty Lamb slowly get to her feet. Good, did it nicely. And we'll send it back where it came from, but only straight as Vivian Saad. The defence has held out well, the Gold Coast Suns. And it's a 50 metre penalty going against the Western Bulldogs. Didn't quite pick up what that one was for, but Viv Saad will be marched to the wing. It was against Kirsty Lamb, not quite what, sure what for yet. That free kick count favouring the Gold Coast Suns this quarter as Saad just finds Stanton in a bit of space. Just letting the umpire know she caught one high. Chips a ball inside 50, goes over the head of, of Howarth. Brown at the back to Bennett's. Nice chip finds Ferris and gives it back to Bennett's. Gets around one and drives a long kick down the corridor. It's a good one. Lamb against Saad. Lamb tries to handle to herself, coming through Keeney. Nice kick to Dankert. Just dropped it at the last moment. Good enough, though, to get around Morris Dalton, and off she goes. So three-quarter time here at Metricon Stadium. It is all Gold Coast Suns. They lead it by 24 points, thanks. Uh, 
they're just sitting outside that top six on percentage and they're also eyeing off another record their greatest winning margin in aflw competition is 25 points so they're looking for a big win here this afternoon to keep their finals chances alive final quarter is underway stanton goes in hard blackburn lays an important tackle Ellie Blackburn with the 15 disposals this evening. Georgia Stathis has got the role on Charlie Rowbottom. Any compliment? Rowbottom's up to 18. 12 of those contested. So Bella just rips the ball off Moody. Kick smothered. Drennan goes in. Rowbottom over the top of Georgia Stathis. Now Drennan. We have an arm wrestle to start this final term. It's the Suns by 24 points. They kicked three goals to none in that third quarter. Free kick Western Bulldogs. Advantage not paid to Blackburn. It has to come back. Stanton, she's taken Ellie Blackburn. Ellie Blackburn coming up for disposal, number 16. Needs a big final term if the Bulldogs are to come from behind and win this one. It's a driving kick inside 50. Morris Dalton goes back and gets it. Couldn't get the hands free. Again, a Charlie Rowbottom tackle. Doing it all, both ends of the ground. Although ran herself into pressure, just played on before she had to. Kick into the player on the mark. Disappointed with herself and it'll give the Dogs another opportunity inside 50. And this is what I like about Rowe, but I'm like, she's prepared to do the hard stuff. You know, once the stoppage is over, just push forward, do the work, support a but support a defenders. Cranston tried to get the handball to Hunt. Dank it. Good smother Lamb. Keeps it alive. A nice tackle from Gutnik, who kicked the opening goal for the Dogs in that second term. This is handy for the dogs. They're now deeper inside their 50, inside sort of 20, 25 metres. There's a lot of movement around this forward 50 stoppage, though. I'd like to see a few more of the dogs on the fly be a bit more aggressive. But they're going to get a free kick on this occasion. Kicking in danger. And that's going to go the way of the young woman we heard from at half time, Nell Morris Dalton. A talented, tal very talented contested mark and keep forward. Needs to finish at that string to a bow. Is that more responsibility this season without Izzy Huntington in the forward line? Can she get them off to the perfect start in the fourth quarter? She can. Beautiful kick. Her third for the season. It just gives the dogs a bit of hope. It's back to 18 points. Well, that was better work there from the Western Bulldogs. They, they got the inside 50, but they didn't let it exit very quickly and if it did they worked really hard to get it back there and they were able to trap it in just get the footy forward with repeated stoppages just getting getting closer and closer to goal force the opposition to make a dispo to make an error get the free kick Nell Morris Dalton as I said she needs to start finishing in front of goal fantastic for the youngster eight disposals tonight a couple of inside 50s and now a goal on the stat sheet for Morris Dalton the dogs have pegged Picked one back. That's the Sun Sermon. Oh, she's stripped of it. Caught holding the ball. Easy Grant with the footy. Oh, it's a smart kick to Moody, but she dropped it. Pritchard gives it to Bennett. Thumps it inside 50. Lamb in front position. Done applying the pressure. Lamb did really well to get the hands free to Cranston. A left foot snap towards goal. Marked in the last line of defence by Vivsard. Repeated clearances and repeated inside 50s for the Dogs. So kick not 15. Done under pressure. Hands it back to Saad. Dangerous kick down the middle. Over the head of Heslop. Out the back it's all the Dogs. Oh, Gamble went without it. Heslop goes in again. Gamble's dispossessed. Brown goes in. Tackled heav heavily by Hes Heslop. We've got a stoppage inside the centre square. Can they get another one in a hurry, the dogs? 
just put the Suns under a bit of pressure, make them a bit nervous. It's always a bit of a testy margin. One team playing a bit safer, one team got nothing to lose. We've seen so many games in AFLW this season open up in the fourth quarter. Moody and Bella. Blackburn tried to work through the stoppage, but it's the Suns who get another clearance through Drennan. Row bottom, kept her eye on the ball, did it well. Those players streaming past. She wants to get it moving. She sees something she likes inside 50. It was Bohanna, nearly took the mark. Now who can be dangerous at ground level? Lynch. Got to be careful here, Pritchard. Bennett's made it hard for Grant. Cranston rocks up Stanton. Umpire giving plenty of time for Jackie Dupay to get to the stoppage. Stanton again wrapped up by Cranston. Making it personal. There's Moody. Kicks a big torp to space of Lock Lamb forward. She's been dangerous. She's creating little things. Can she kick a goal of her own? Around the body on the left boot. Kirsty Lamb, a bit of individual brilliance. And the dogs are right back in it. Well, she started the quarter up forward. Ali Blackburn went into the midfield. And she's just provided something, hasn't she, Shiloh? There was a smother. There's been some contests. And now this wonderful individual effort. And she's given the dogs some real hope. What was really critical there was she kept her feet. The contact game from her direct opponent. She knew she'd given away a bit of height. She'd given away a bit of distance, but she knew when the contact came, keep your feet and ride the contact. She got onto her left side, most importantly. That was the smartest thing she did. Credit to um, Silly Moody as well. Just that, that lovely long boot down the corridor. Quick, long and direct. She knew they don't have much time. Let's get the ball inside 50 as quick as possible. So the Bulldogs are back in this contest. The pressure now on the Gold Coast Suns. What a player she's become, Kirstie Lamb. Her best season at age 27. Bella with the tap to Whitford. Must have just got boot to ball. But it spills the dog's way. Fitzgerald pumps the Western Bulldogs back into attack. Too good at the back of the packet. It spills to ground. Morris Dalton with another left foot step. This has got to go all the way. The dogs have three in a row. Well, these young dogs, when they're on, they're on. And, and we can see these last two passages of play. There are the brilliance that exists within this young squad of players. They're down their captain. We know that she's she's out on the field. She's a bit sore. Hasn't had the impact that that she might have had in other games. But what's really fantastic is these youngsters, Nell Morris Dalton stepping up, Jess Fitzgerald, and the leadership from Kirsty Lamb as well, the role that she's playing. You talk about having a breakout season in, in terms of disposals, but it's her leadership around the ground that's been critical as well. The let's dogs go, are coming. Yeah, let's go down to the boundary line, Bella. We've got a very revved up Nathan Burke coaching from the boundary here. We had a few fist pumps when they kicked that goal and many pats on the back for the girls. You can just feel the momentum starting to really shift here. Yeah, this is an absolutely gutsy effort. They looked out on their feet in that third term. Gold Coast were running all over them, but they've found something. Whatever Nathan Burke said at three-quarter time has worked because they have lifted. And they are up and about now. The dogs will get the forward pressure. Too good. Getting involved. Three unanswered goals to start this final term. So the dogs leading clearance count five to two this quarter. And inside 50 is five to one. Yeah, that's where it starts. The clearances. They win another one. Bennett's has lifted. Too good in front. Couldn't take the mark. Good nick there, and it done's got to be careful, and it might fall as far as Bennett's. Edmonds has Blackburn. She might get the one-two. Lamb's already got one. She she get in her left and do it again. Kirsty Lamb right to the goal line. These dogs are up and about now. Saar did really well there, not to give away or not to concede a behind. Margin six points. Don't want to give away a handy point right now. See that time in forward half to start the last quarter. 63% going the way of the Bulldogs. They've got the momentum. LaJoya brought to ground. 
We well, don't mind this if you're a Western Bulldogs player. Repeated stoppages inside 50 in the chaos. What might come? Done. Out the back under pressure. Oh, it still spills the way of Goodnet. Her second. And scores a level at Metricon Stadium. Well, we talk about the chaos, the commotion of repeated stoppages, and stoppages so close to goal are dangerous. That's where your small outside runners, your nimble players can get loose. We saw a couple of bodies go down there. We see the chaos, and at the back of the contest, there's Goodneck just hiding in behind with some space, set up perfectly. It's a great result for the Western Bulldogs. I'm not sure we saw this coming at three-quarter time. The Dogs were 24 points down. And looked dead on their feet, didn't they, they Lee? They did, absolutely. And they've kicked four goals in ten minutes. We saw the Gold Coast Suns do something similar early in the year. They kicked five goals in the final ten minutes to beat the West Coast Eagles. And now it's these Suns that have to find a response because the dogs are up and about. Can Rowbottom, the young star, lift them. Try to handle it back to Whitford. Picked off by Georgia Stathis. Kept her eye on the footy. Row bottom, just rides the tackle, got the arms free. Bala gets it inside 50, and now the Suns will get an opportunity to get some stoppages set up behind the ball and put a little bit of pressure back on the dogs. We can see there the last 10 scores. Pretty interesting and, and really good here to see Gold Coast Suns win that centre clearance now and have the opportunity repeated inside 50 entry stoppages here, create some chaos. Blackburn just gets boot to ball. Sermon flicks out the handball. Yorston had nowhere to go. Ferris overruns it. Yorston goes again. Kicks it inside 50. Bohanna just pushed Lynch out of the contest illegally. Not much in there. Just a little side bump from Bohanna, but ball not in the vicinity. Lynch kicks to the wing. Coming through LaJoya. As the players dive on. Forces a stoppage. The Dogs kick four unanswered goals to start this last quarter. With five minutes left to play. With the finals position potentially on the line. Daisy Darcy comes through. Hartwig, Yorston. Kick smothered. Hartwick goes again. Gets it back. Kicks to a one-on-one -on -one contest. Keeney against Lamb. Ball spills to ground. Lamb over the top. Coming through single. Did well. Gives it to Keeney. Oh, she's turned it over. Easy Grant standing in the way. Well done, Keeney, though. Did really well to create the loose player in single and release the footy. Yeah, it was a huge one-on-one -on -one with Lamb. Now an opportunity for the Dogs again just to build up the football. A free kick will go to Moody. Perkins did all at right intent there, just the execution, but really good attempt to put a body spoil on Moody. Knew Moody had the run of the footy. She just tries to kick it as far as she can. Row bottom continuing to work hard. will get the free kick. So fifth touch this quarter, row bottom. Yeah, the three tackles, four of those contested. Can she get her side over the line? They've got a fight on their hands. Single goes inside 50. If it gets to the back, Bahana's got time and space. She's already kicked two. Can she kick her third? Wrong side of the post. Handy point, though, with four minutes left. Love a handy point. Neither side can afford a draw. They've got to get the four points. Row bottom, 23 touches for the game. Bulldogs straight up the middle to Gamble. Wants to use the corridor. It's a beautiful kick to Lamb. Call to move it on. Kicks long. Cranston. Moody. Gets around Bella. No, she doesn't. 
Dank it over the top. Lamb feeds it out. Hunt dribbles a kick to half forward. Too good. Wheels around on the left. It's a high kick inside 50. Off hands, Fitzgerald. Can't go with it. Stoppage. How good was Kirsty Lamb in that contest? Just wanted it the most, went in and got it. And now gives the dogs an opportunity with a stoppage inside 50. Have they got anything left? These young Bulldogs. Sixth game in 25 days. They've won three on the trot to give themselves a chance to play finals. But they need to beat the Suns. Lamb, she's going to give the side every chance to win. Georgia Staffis was brilliant last week, and that's a handy point because the scores are level. Talk about Kirsty Lamb's ability to impact the play in key moments, and she has just stepped up when the game is there to be won. Kirsty Lamb's just gone and take the game by the scruff of the neck. Who wants it? Who wants to win this game? Moody stands tall, drives it to the top of the square. Who's lurking? Plenty of numbers back for the Suns. Single. Has to be careful because it might bounce out of bounds. It will. It'll come back in. So the Melbourne Demons came from 23 points down last night to win. Has two good marks in the pocket. Lovely if kick. the dogs get over the line, no side has come from 24 points down to win an AFLW game. Any score will do. 90 seconds on the clock. Bonnie Tuga with a shot. Let's it go. Oh. Sprays it completely. Absolute drama at Metricon Stadium. We're into the final minute and scores are level. And Sarah Perkins has gone down to full back and said, I'll take the kick in, girls. Because I'm the biggest kick in the team, so I'll go as long and as far as I can. Clever from Bohanna. Howarth, has she got any tricks up her sleeve? She's got a few. She thought she kept it in. Clock's winding down. She's not happy. That kick from Too Good was... Almost shades of Kernahan all those years ago against the Bombers. But there's still enough time for either team to get a score. So 44 seconds left. Scores are level. The Dogs were 24 points down at three quarter time. Big ball to be won. On either side want to give away a free kick. Georgia Staffis got it to Blackburn. Stands it under pressure. Sermon now has the chance. Can the Suns get something on the counter attack? The kick goes to space. Hardwick. The Dogs might have one last chance. They've got to get it moving. Brown just throws it on the boot. I think we're going to have a draw. It's going to end in a draw. You wouldn't believe it. The Gold Coast Suns were 24 points up at three-quarter time. And both sides are stunned.